Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tweety back in another video today. I got some news for y'all, some big news come from Mortal Kombat 1. So August 18th the 21st is going to be the beta, the pre-order beta. So all you have to do is pre-order the, I believe it's just the regular version, uh, but maybe it's the premium, I don't know. But I think it's just the regular. It doesn't say the premium here. And yeah, y'all, it's going to be PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. I'm going to be on Xbox Series X myself. Maybe the S, I don't know. I don't know which Xbox I'm going to get, but I'm going to be on Xbox for this. And another surprise, y'all, big surprise, big news. Look who they added for the beta. They added Johnny Cage and Lee May. And then for cameos, they added Frost. So very interesting. I'm surprised because I thought they would add Scorpion, right? Scorpion, you know, the poster child or poster boy. I don't know if poster child is the right thing to say. It's poster boy, right? Uh, poster boy of MK. You know, Ed Boon's favorite, stuff like that. So it's weird to me that Scorpion's not in. I actually predicted that it would be Scorpion and Johnny, so I got one of them right. I thought maybe Melina too, but no, Lee May. So that's interesting. So I'm really excited to try both of them out. Um, and in the rest of this video, I wanted to also Frost. And Frost is a weird one because we didn't even get to see one of her cameo moves in the trailer she was in. So we're that's going to be all new stuff. That's going to be exciting to see. And then for stages, it has the tea house and Johnny Cage's mansion. But for the rest of this video, I wanted to go back over the combat cast and just kind of like theory craft with y'all a little bit. So like Johnny, he's like very rushed down on this game, like very. And um, yeah, let's just look at it real quick. A ton of his new moves pop up for a Yeah, and instead of like the green glow, he's got like that shadow dash stuff. So that's going to be interesting to mess around with. I don't believe he has a single projectile in this game, which is interesting. Johnny, he's normally like a long range, like spacing, like, you know, uh, projectile character. But in this game, he seems to be like pure rushdown. And one thing that you'll notice quickly. He's got that back too. He have like his traditional Johnny Cage energy, right? So right there, he's got a launching Johnny overhead. It seems like that uh, could be reactable, maybe. And it's probably going to be unsafe on block, I imagine. But I'm sure with cameos, you could then make it safe. And it launches too. Johnny Cage energy, right? Like, That's right. Like, you know, so Johnny, he's never really been a mix-up character, like even in MKX, which was like the mix-heavy game. But it seems like in this game, he's going to be super mix-up heavy. Super rushdown, super mix-up heavy. Right. In fact, he does not have the energy balls at all. Yeah, no projectile, no projectile at all whatsoever. Johnny Cage is strictly anti-zoning. He hates it. He can't stand it. And then Lee May, Lee May, we don't really have a combat cast or anything like that to look at. But she's got a projectile, she's got nice strings, stuff like that. So it's going to be exciting to get in the Lee May as well. He quickly goes in, you can use it to cover space. And if you're close... Yeah, it goes to the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can also do it twice. Which helps. It's interesting because I feel like if you watch stress test gameplay from like Ninja, Sonic, like whoever, Gambler, whatever... It's so, like, projectile heavy, like Ice Clone, Ice Clone, Ice Ball, Liu Kang Fireball, Liu Kang Fireball, Kenshi Overhead thing. And Johnny, he has nothing. He has no projectile at all. The only projectile he could possibly use is from a cameo. So it's going to be interesting to see how a projectile-less character works in MK1. You know what I mean? Because if you watch any stress test footage from anyone, y'all, it's like you, you would see, like, big corner combo setups, like, from people like Dizzy and stuff, like... Ketchup and Mustard was doing stuff like that, too. Uh, Ninja was as well, obviously, but I feel like it was so projectile heavy, you know? Like, whenever, like, good players were playing against each other and actually trying to win, obviously, whenever players would play against, like, randoms online, they would just, like, go in and mow them down with, like, setups. But when you saw good players actually play against each other and try to win, like, if someone got a live lead, they were they were backing up there throwing projectiles. Now, I don't know if that's just the better way to play MK1 or if just, like, early on in a fighting game before they really know how to play. It's just, you know, projectiles are simple. You know, projectile anti-air, projectile anti-air. It's a simple way to play. It's a simple way to keep a commanding life lead, you know what I mean? So seeing a character with no projectiles in the beta, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if anyone can, you know, challenge like Ninja Killer's Liu Kang or like Sonic's Kenshi with Johnny. But hey, they might use Johnny, you know what I mean? They might try to bust open Johnny. We don't know. Uh... I'm sure Ninja will at least try Johnny. I'm sure Sonic will too. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're able to do. Also, Lee May as well. I don't... I, um, I don't know. Let me look up the trailer real quick. So, uh, Lee May. 
Let's look that up real quick. Um, Gotti trailer. Let's do it. So I don't know if there's much we could see in here from her. Okay, so here she is. Yeah, so she's got this string that looks like a knockdown. It's like a... Hold on. Yeah, it's like a it's like a mid into like a splat knockdown. Okay, that seems like it might be like a combo ender. Maybe you could use for like pressure with cameos. Got a string there. Use it in the cameo. Wait, was that a? Uh... Okay, so nothing really crazy there. Just string in the cameo, and then the person to jump in into. So she's got this string that looks like it's like a um. Looks like it's a low into a launcher. Yeah, low into a launcher right there. She kicks him up. So that's probably unsafe on block, I would imagine. But again, cameo. So we could use cameos to keep that safe. Throw out Kano knives. Throw out Kano ball. Throw out maybe maybe Frost has got a move that could keep it safe. We don't know yet. We'll see. And then the person in the trailer just did that air string, very basic. So we didn't really get to see much there. And then we see back throw. I think there's more Lee May stuff later in the trailer though. Let's go check. Surrender if you wish to remain on. I think uh, they just show Tanya stuff here. I think. Oh no, we do see a project. Ooh, Lee May's projectile launches. Okay. I don't know why I didn't notice that whenever I did the trailer breakdown. I guess I was just, I was so focused on Tanya, right? I was so focused on Tanya in this moment. But yeah, Lee May's projectile launches. And then she's got that, she's got that special move kick right there that seems to knock him away. Okay. Okay, just Tanya stuff here. Looks like a decent hurtbox or decent hitbox on her jump kick. Decent. No, uh, not really. Not great. You know, what you want is like sub zeros where it's like very like uh, tilted downward. That's what you want. So this is not a very good jump kick. She'll be very anti airable unless she has a broke jump punch. But normally they're, the jump kick will have a better hitbox than a jump punch, though. Protecting the royal house. OK, so I think there's more Lee made later with uh, well, is it with Baraka? Yeah, I think Lee May does a few things here. Mostly just Baraka chopping. <laughs> Ooh, so she's got like... Yeah, okay, so string into projectile launch. String into projectile launch. And then she does this kick string. Into this like dash knee, which is... It's very similar to a do a dash knee that Jackie had in MK11 that was locked behind uh, custom moves that you don't see a lot of people use because they normally use like upgraded. And then it ends in like this punch string that's similar to one of her, uh, that's similar to actually one of her 3D moves. She had a, like a punch ender like that in uh, the 3D games like Deadly Alliance. So that's cool. And then Goro into projectile. And I think that's it for Lee Mei from the trailer. That's going to be it for my video, though, y'all. Let me know uh, which character you're really excited to try out of those two, if you're excited to try Frost. And overall, how you're feeling, uh, you know, August 18th to 21st. That's coming soon. That's less than a month away for the beta. And I'm excited, y'all. I'm hype. I didn't get to play the stress test, but I will be coming hard with content, with streams for the beta. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to try to... Not going to lie, y'all. I think... I, I'm not really interested in the stress test characters that much. Sub-Zero, I might mess around with. But to be honest, y'all, I'm liking how Lee Mei looks. She's got a nice projectile that launches. She's got nice uh, nice strings. You know, she's got that knee ender that looks really cool. I, I might mess around with Lee Mei first, y'all. Who are y'all going to mess around with first? And uh, yeah, later. Like and subscribe. Peace.